Hello everybody, happy Friday evening. Um, I'm coming on tonight to share a few happy mails um, that I received this week. It's been a busy week. Um, we were doing some things with family this week. I had a few days off and uh, so I didn't get to film very many uh, videos or have a lot of crafty time this week at all, but I do have some things to share with you uh, for Saturday morning makes um, related to Diana Markham and Adorn It. Um, and the stamp jamboree that happened this week with the six new stamp sets. So I'm going to do a video for Saturday Morning Makes that has a couple of projects related to that. But um, I wanted to come on tonight really quickly and share this adorable Happy Fourth of July card that I received from my friend Joyce of the Peddler's Pack. And uh, I just love this card. Look at this sweet little star button, you guys. Isn't that adorable? I think it's ceramic. It feels like it is. It's ceramic, and then she's got twine through it, and that's coming out the back. And then she has these sweet papers, these 4th of July papers, and I just love this adorable image. Isn't that adorable? Such a sweet little bear holding the flag for the 4th of July, and it says, Happy 4th, and then she's got glitter on here. Um, so I don't know, I hope you guys can see all the sparkle there. Such a beautiful card, and I love this Spellbinders die that she used for the mats. Um, and then inside it says, Hooray for the red, white, and blue. And she has this beautiful um, uh, trim on here. So that is just lovely. It says, Happy 4th of July. Dear Jill, I didn't sign this card in case you want to pass it on. Your friend Joyce. So Joyce is with the Peddler's Pack. And it's um, paper arts and rubber stamps. And uh, she's got her hand stamped by Joyce Kurtz here. And uh, Joyce is a big support, supporter of Saturday Morning Makes, and she has a wonderful shop called Stamp Peddler on Etsy, and it's Peddler Pack Stamps. And uh, they re um, have so many beautiful stamps in their catalog. It's unbelievable. The Etsy store barely scratches the surface, you guys, of what they have. So if you're looking for something and you don't see it in their store, you can always message Joyce and Bernie and uh, ask them, you know, if they have something that you're looking for. Um, so I'm excited to see what stamps they load into the shop for Christmas in July, and I'm also excited um, just to see all the summer stamps that are already there. Um, so lots of gardening themed stuff, and you know I'm a big gardener. So um, it was so sweet of Joyce to send this, and it's such a cute little image. Oh my goodness, it just made my heart smile, Joyce. So thank you so much for sending that to me. So that was my first happy mail. And then the second happy mail was I I had won a prize on my friend Dee's channel. Dee is Elegant Embellishments on YouTube and over on Instagram. And I think she's on Facebook too. Yeah, she is. And uh, we're she's also a member of the Diana Markham um, and Adorn It ambassador team. So along with Jen, who's Strawberry Cream 39, Jen Levy. Hello, Jen. And um, Marilyn G. Hi, Marilyn. And Cynthia Roybal, who is... RN Jetta here on YouTube, and she's also on Instagram and Facebook, um, and then myself. So uh, Dee had done a little giveaway, and she told me that I won, and uh, this is the beautiful um, oven die that she told me about. So I haven't cut this out yet to see what it's like, but it does have, here, let's see if I can open it for you guys. I'm sorry about the crinkling for those of you that don't like that, but um, I think she told me who made this. Is this a KS Craft? I, I can't remember who this is by, you guys. But um, isn't that cute, the little oven mitt with the heart in it? And uh, so this is how you would put together the oven. And this is like the oven door that I think would go around here. But um, it's you're able, I think, to do a shaker. So I'll have to play with this and see. Um, you know, this would be really cute, of course, to do some Christmas tags with for some baking. So that was so fun that I won that. I don't have an oven die, so um, that is going to be something new in my stash. So thank you, Dee, for that. She sent this cute card that says, Get Your Happy On. Isn't that neat? And I don't know if you can tell, but there's like um, sparkling iridescence um, on that. So on this cut apart that she used. So that really picks up the, the light there. And uh, she wrote me a beautiful note in here. And uh, she said to th she said thank you for the patience on the prize because I won it a while ago, you guys. And uh, she just, um, she had been under the weather and she's also moving and stuff. So God bless you, Dee. And then she had also sent me some extras um, of these. Uh, oh my gosh, I'm going to forget what these are. They're not tilled. Magnolia, of these Magnolia girls that she got. So I thought I'd show you those really quick. 
Um, I don't have very many Magnolia stamps. Um, I'm not a huge fan of uh, their stuff as much as I am of certain other stamps. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I, I um, don't do very many, but I love this one. Isn't this cute? She's holding um, a little basket full of goodies or um, possibly you could color it as flowers too. But uh, so that's really cute and it's a little angel. Um, but uh, anyway, it, and this one has a rolling pin. So she's a little angel with a rolling pin. So she sent these along too. So really sweet. This one I think is an Easter egg. Um, and then she also asked me if I wanted to uh, purchase any of her items. And then I said yes, and then she wouldn't let me pay. So God bless you, Dee. Um, I'm going to have to do something nice for you. This is a beautiful little angel. And the, the face on this angel just made me my heart smile. So I definitely want to color this up and make some projects with it. And then she sent this beautiful basket. Isn't that gorgeous? So just a really nice red rubber, um, you know, this this one is what this one looks like. And I'm sorry, I'm not telling you guys. This one is, of course, Annette Allen Watkins, and it's 1993. And she's definitely one of my favorite illustrators. And I have a lot of her stamps in my stash, but I did not have this one. So this was my favorite thing. This one, and I'll show you one other is my favorite. This one, um, does this one have info? Yeah, this one's called, This the company is called, let's see if we can get it to focus here. There we go. Raindrops on Roses, 1991. So I don't know if that's the name of the stamp. I'm not sure. So it could be the company name. I don't know. And then this was the other one that I really wanted. And this is a beautiful quilt stamp. And it has, of course, my very favorite Prim Hearts in it. And then these cute little flowers. And this one is, it says, for me and my house on here. And I don't know. I didn't see anything else. Yeah, the, I just don't see anything else. It's a beautiful red rubber. Um, so I'm not sure uh, if that's a company anyone's familiar with. I don't know. Or if that was just somebody's stamp that they put on there, I don't know. But there's no other markings on here to say what this is from. So, um, but thank you, Dee, for sharing that. And the other thing that I thought was really neat that Dee had um, for sale was this die. And this is a, a Biggs die or is it an AccuCut? I think it's an AccuCut. I don't know. It's called Thick Cuts Mittens, if that helps. And it's blue. I don't see the name on it. Uh, it, they're all made in China. Almost everything has this, the China. I don't know if you can see that, but it says made in China on there. So um, anyway, oh, there we go. It's an Ellison. So it's Sizzix because Ellison is Sizzix. So anyway, but it's this little mitten die with little pom-poms. And I thought that would be fun to make some tags with for my Christmas tags this year. So um, Dee, thank you so much. Um, I'll have to see if I can send you something. Uh, and uh, I just am always so very blessed by everybody that gives me things. Um, my favorite thing to receive, though, you guys, is cards. I have so much stuff. I don't need any more things. But let's face it, when we see something we love, um, it's very hard not to be tempted by that sweet little face. <laughs> so, Dee, bless you. And uh, I really enjoyed seeing how um, you and your friend went down to that store um, it's always fun to buy things secondhand um, and give them, put them to good use so that they can have life again. So um, I really want to get back into using my woodblock stamps. I've, you know, the thing with taking on design work is that it, you can't use the stuff that you love um, that you have in your stash. You're using new things that you love that, that people are sending you, um, which is a wonderful thing. Don't get me wrong. I'm very, very blessed. And I know that. But I also kind of miss just playing with, uh, you know, I want to, I want, I totally want to play with this. <laughs> so hopefully I can make some time and do that. Um, so those are the happy meals. And then really quick, um, at the end of this video, I thought I would just share another one of my little art, art pieces. And this is a little joyful winter girl that I drew. And uh, I colored her and then I turned her into a colored digital. So uh, she, I can print her out four to a page and then just cut her out and make cards with her. And uh, she's not perfect. There are things that I did when I made this one that I did incorrectly. Because like I said, you guys, this is a learning process. I'm learning how to do everything. Um, and again, my style is very homespun and uh, simple. 
and uh, I kind of like the imperfectness of things and there are people that I know are not that way but that's who I am and uh, you have to stay true you know art is a personal thing and you have to do what's true for yourself so um, this little card that I created has a, this adorable little gingerbread on here which I think my friend Anna White gave me this um, this little ginger charm but I might be remembering wrong it might have been from someone else but I think Anna was the one who gave this to me because I know I have another one from her um, that's just like this. So I think this is the one that Anna gave me. And I just used some papers from a paper pad that I had and a little bit of paper from Arala Miha shop on Etsy down at the bottom here. And then I don't know if you can see it, but this is embossed with a beautiful Lil Inker Designs impress plate. And uh, Laura was, I think, one of the first person to ever create an impress plate way back in the day. The, right now they're getting very popular again, but I went and pulled a bunch of mine out that are older to use. And this is one of them, and I hope you can kind of see it looks like little snowflakes or flowers, sort of. So I thought that would be cute to put behind this little joyful winter gingerbread. This beautiful face that you see on here is, of course, a peachy keen face. Um, this particular one is a three-quarter inch size. And it is this one right here. And so it's in the three quarter inch row of this PK1320 in the garden face assortment. So I use that little face on here. Um, and I'll probably use different faces on each one or I might do them all the same, I don't know. But I just thought I would make a few Christmas cards. So this is part of my Christmas in July or Christmas Makes 2022. And uh, I put a little piece of that um, impressed cardstock on the inside. I use the X and O dies for my creative time again. Um, and if you don't have these in your stash, they're one of my favorite little sets. So that's the, the mat that's on the inside here. And then on the back, I have this cute Peddler's Pack hand stamped image that I stamped on a piece of car, um, floral paper from Arala Miha shop. And then I use two other pieces of paper to finish the back of the card. But I just love this little girl and she's holding up um, you know, her stamp and her ink pad. So I just think that's so, so cute. Oh, just adorable. So I had to put that on the back. So this card just turned out so cute. I love that that little ginger shakes at the top where I tied it onto the thing. So I just literally tied it through one of the scallops of this scallop piece. And these scallop dies are very, very old. And uh, they're from a company that's no longer uh, in, you know, making dies anymore. Um, I think they were actually absorbed by a different company. Um, and I can't think of the die set name now, but I have shared it many times in the past. So you guys are probably familiar, and there are lots of companies that sell open scallop dies. So you're looking for an open scallop rectangle die set, if that's what you're looking for. So um, thanks for looking. I love how this cute little joyful winner ginger girl turned out. And uh, I am still playing around with drawing things. I try to draw a little bit every day. And I just thought it was kind of fun to start sharing these with you guys. So let me know what you think. Um, and if you like my little joyful winter ginger girl. And uh, again, I'm trying to share some of my original art for my Christmas tags and cards this year with some of my family um, and close friends when I mail things out this year. So um, some of you will certainly be receiving a card from me that has some original art on it um, that I've created. And uh, I, I uh, am hoping to eventually maybe offer some of these as digitals for you, those of you that might want to purchase them at a really reasonable price. Um, so uh, anyway, that's what I wanted to share tonight. I want to thank my friend Kathy of Peachy Keen, who makes all the beautiful faces that I'm using on the stuff that I'm creating. Um, I'm also working on trying to hand draw some faces. So I'm learning. Um, it's, it's a lot of fun to learn, but it does take time. Um, but I'm really enjoying the process. So I want to thank Kathy for having these faces available and uh, coming back from retirement. Her website is peachykeenstamps.com. And uh, if you don't already have some face stamp sets in your arsenal, um, I always think it's a good thing to have on hand because you never know when you're going to want to do like just a really cute face to put on anything, <laughs> a basket, a, an apple, a strawberry, you know, whatever you're doing. Um, so her faces just come in handy for a variety of things. So uh, I just think this turned out so cute and it's so fun to play with my little ginger paper dolls. So um, that is everything I wanted to share in this video. Again, a big thank you to boys, both Joyce and um, Dee for all that they do for this community. Um, Dee as an ambassador for Diana Markham and Adornit and, uh, 
and just a good friend. And Dee is always cheerful, sharing her, her pups and uh, all that she's creating. She's an incredible seamstress and does so many cool things. So I hope you'll check out Elegant Embellishments. And uh, don't forget to visit Joyce, too. She's on Instagram for Saturday Morning Makes every weekend, and she always shares some cute projects. And uh, she has a wonderful Etsy shop called Stamp Peddler on Etsy. So everybody have a wonderful Friday night. And I am going to come back. Um, I'm actually going to film my Saturday morning makes tonight because I do have to work um, this weekend. And I will come back and, uh, and uh, sh be doing that video in just a few minutes. So everybody have a wonderful weekend. Happy Friday night. Bye now.